What's up guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to give you an introduction to kinematics across the three subjects that I happen to teach. This is gonna be great for anybody that's taking the SAT subject exam in physics. If you're taking AP Physics 1 or here in my home state, if you are taking the New York Regents exam in physics, all the things that I'm gonna talk about in this video are going to apply to those particular courses and tests. This will be the beginning to an entire playlist that I'm going to build for you inside kinematics and I'll leave that entire playlist down in the description below. So after you watch this introduction, you can go on. I started making some videos last year, but now going into this year with the uncertainties of what's going on, I'm gonna be doing these more in chronological order so you can follow along with me. I go at pretty much the same pace as everyone does across the country, so you should be good to go. So kinematics and 2D kinematics, guys, is just gonna be a study of motion. It's gonna answer a couple of different questions. It's gonna measure like how far did something go and in what direction? How fast did it go? Which way did it go? And did the speed at which it went to those certain places change? That's it, we're gonna talk about distance, displacement, speed, velocity, acceleration, and time. Those are gonna be the variables that you are going to see inside the topic of kinematics and 2D kinematics. Now, if you picked up a review book of sorts, I'll leave all the ones that I use and recommend down in the description below that you can check out for each individual course. But you might see that they, they give an, their own unit to vectors and graphs. I just wanna let you know right now, I incorporate those right into the lessons that I teach inside kinematics, it makes them more practical and it gives you an idea of what you're doing. It gives a little bit of context. So if you're curious, like why don't you see a playlist on just vectors and just graphs, know that I just incorporate those in to these physics lessons as I go along. After we get through each individual lesson inside kinematics, then I'll be sure to give you a kinematics review video and help you prepare for any exams that you might be taking inside kinematics. The lessons inside kinematics that I'm going to make, there's going to be one on the position of an object and its distance and displacement from its starting spot. I'll do a video on the differences between speed and velocity, as well as different kinematics graphs. I'll do a video on acceleration, which is just a change in speed or velocity, and also go through a full rundown of all the formulas that you will need to know when taking a test inside kinematics. Like I said previously, I'll sprinkle in graphing motion, as well as free fall, and that 2D kinematics, which is called projectile motion. The pace of this will really depend on what level you're learning this at. Here in New York, as a standard basic New York State Regents level, this will take me about two weeks. It'll take me about half the time for AP Physics 1 because the content is the same for both of those courses. Really, just one is just a little bit more accelerated so we can get to things later on the year that are different from New York State Regents exam. But for the SAT, you can go through this and do the lessons at your own speed because you're gonna take that test whenever you want to take it. Good luck this year, guys. I hope you'll follow along with me. Subscribe, like, and share with all of your physics friends. If you go back to the old videos and you look at the comments that I got from people, people really learned a lot from watching these videos, and I look, val I look forward to giving you some value. If you're taking this somewhere else in the country, in the world, and you want to get in touch with me, my email's down in the description below. Reach out to me. We'll figure things out, and we'll make sure that you are as successful as you can be in physics this year. Have a good one until I see you on the next one. Stay positive, work really, really hard. Always be kind to other people. Hope you have yourself an amazing day and an even better tomorrow.